Those are the questions from the YouTube. Now we'll continue the question from the WhatsApp. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Wa alaikum assalam wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. This will inshallah be the last question in the shortage of time. This question is from Muhammad Mohsin. I am from Bangalore, India, but working in America. Dr. Sahib, I salute you. My father and myself are your biggest fans for your work of Dawa. May Allah protect you and reward you with the best in this life and the hereafter. Ameen. Can I keep my savings in a fixed deposit in a bank account and donate the interest amount to Jamiyat to help fight cases of innocent Muslim prisoners so that they can be released? But the Muhammad Bosan has asked a question that can he keep his money in a fixed deposit which gets interest, riba? And I understand from his question that he knows that riba is haram. But he's asking the question that can I keep the money in a fixed deposit in a riba based account? And the interest that I get, I will donate it to Jamiyat because Jamiyat is helping free many of the innocent Muslims who have been imprisoned and allegations have been put against them. So can he use this riba money for that good cause? As far as riba is concerned, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is very clear cut that riba is prohibited. And Allah says in the Quran, in Surah Baqarah, chapter number 2, verse number 278, and Surah Baqarah, chapter number 2, verse number 279, that give up your demands of riba. And if you give up not your demands of riba, take notice of a war from Allah and His Rasul. That means if you indulge in riba, in interest, whether giving of interest or taking of interest. Allah says in the Quran that Allah and His Rasul will wage a war against you. So taking or giving interest is the major sin. Imam Adhabi in his book, The Qabair, The 70 Major Sins, he places riba as the 12th major sin. And the hadith of the Prophet ﷺ that riba is of various levels. The lowest level of riba is like doing zina with your mother. Regarding a question, I understand from your question that you agree riba is haram, but the question is that I will not utilize that money, I will give it in donation to the jamiyat which is doing good work of releasing Muslim prisoners who are innocent and against them there are false and fabricated cases. Brother, to give donation to the jamiyat, first you have to take money from the bank. If you keep your money in the fixed deposit, itself is haram. Besides keeping in the fixed deposit is haram, to give donation, first you have to take the riba. And only after you take the riba, will you be able to give it in donation. So taking riba is haram. So no way can you continue keep in a fixed deposit bank account and thinking that I will get the riba, I will not utilize it. The Quran does not say do not utilize the money of riba. It says do not involve in riba. Don't take riba, do not give riba. And also do not utilize, that is one part of it. But first you'll have to take to give. So according to me, it is haram to keep in a fixed deposit itself. Now you did not know that keeping in a fixed deposit is haram. And you have kept the money for a few years and now you have realized it is haram. And now you're asking me what to do with the money, then I can give you the solution. Number one is stop that riba account. Stop the fixed deposit account. You can keep in a conventional bank and a current account which does not involve interest. Or keep in Islamic bank. But first thing you have to do is stop that riba based account. Stop that fixed deposit account. Now you have money remaining. That you don't utilize for yourself. That money you can very well give to the Jamiyat or give for making toilets or for any good cause. Don't utilize for yourself. But this is only in the case where you innocently or ignorantly kept in a riba based account. But if you know riba is haram and then if you keep in the fixed deposit, it is prohibited. Because if you keep in a riba account knowingly, riba is haram. Example, you may be getting negative 1000 points. You are helping the Jamiyat, you are getting positive 100 points. So they are getting negative 1000 points. Helping the Jamiyat is plus 100 points. Your balance is negative 900 points. So why keep in a fixed deposit? So keeping in fixed deposit and utilizing the money for good cause also is haram according to me. There are some scholars who say it's permitted according to me, it's haram. Because you're indulging in one of the gravest sins where Allah says, Allah and His Rasul will wage a war against you. The hurmat 
the prohibition of indulging in riba is far greater. Alcohol, gambling, zina, and all put together. That is the reason Allah says, Allah and His Rasul will wage a war against you. So, continuing keeping in the bank and year after year taking the interest and giving in charity is also prohibited. Unknowingly you kept and money is there with you, don't utilize it yourself. Give it in charity for a good cause. You can also give to the Jamiyat, no problem. But keeping it continuously and then taking out the money and giving for a good cause, you're getting more negative than positive points. It is haram. Please stop it. Hope that answers the question.